Hi everyone, I'm Priestess Sally, Oracle of Goddess, and full deep trance medium of my spirit guide, Ascended Master Chung Fu, with whom I've been working for almost 50 years. We have created together the Soul Path series. Chung Fu doesn't open my eyes physically when I'm in trance, but he does see you spiritually. I hope you enjoy this wonderful transmission from Chung Fu. Blessings and love. Blessings and peace, beloved, I am Chong Fu. This is a light to be with you again. Calling forward your higher self to guide you on your soul path. That is really what it's all about. As you daily imagine, command, affirm that you are calling in the full presence of your soul. That is exactly what happens. This principle of commanding the presence of your higher self, it's very important for you to understand it. For you to understand that you literally are recreating your mind's understanding of who you are. Many of you already know who you are, but you are divinely connected. However, there is always, in that sense, not just room for improvement, but a necessity for constant improvement. And that doesn't need to be a stressful type of statement, just a simple, beautiful fact that through you understanding the limitless, infinite nature of your eternal soul being, you're never going to stop growing. You are an eternal being. Once you understand your creative power, why would you ever stop? You're not going to stop. You're just getting into new habits now in your life. Habits, creative habits. Habits of realizing that as soon as you can see the possibility of change, all you need to do is decide it's a reality. It's going to be happening. It's happening now, and that is the next important thing. That statement, it's happening now. I command my soul into my body now. I feel my feet on the ground. I feel my light pouring through from source, pouring into the earth. I feel my love expanding around me. I feel that inside me, I have such gratitude for my life. I absolutely know that I am so loved by the divine. All I have to do is decide who I want to be. Because I'm going to be supported by the divine being, the one creator, in all the multiplicities of the expression of that creator through many deities, angelic beings, guides and helpers. And my higher self, who absorbs all of that brilliant light and brings it into my soul. And my soul emanates that light into all my organs. And as that light comes into my organs, I become healthier and healthier physically and emotionally and mentally. As I understand more and more about where I have some negativities, mentally I bring in the opposite, the positive affirmations. Because I'm working on my mind I'm changing my mind. Of course, there is dependency in a sense as you begin this work upon your heart, how you're feeling, on your body. How is your health? Yes, they have to all work in tandem. You can start with your body and make sure that your body is fit. And then you can work with your heart and open up your heart and feel you're bringing in a lot of healing power into your heart. Of course, you can start 
in that sense at the bottom and work your way up. But always you're going to come to that place where, oh, I realize I have this belief that I'm not lovable or some other belief that is very severe as you come into your heart and you realize, oh, what do you mean, love yourself? I don't know what it means. What does it mean? And so you have to come to your mind to understand what you haven't understood yet. The beliefs that lie inside your mind and affect everything. In fact, they are causal. So for some of you, it is appropriate to really understand your mind first, that by seeing what's inside your mind, you get to understand what's inside your heart and then you realize how badly or how damaged those beliefs are in their manifestation in your physical being. They're manifesting disease, lack, and they're, they're keeping you small when you want to be big. And so, and of course you can Work on it all together. It's probably the best way. When you make an affirmation, you feel it in your heart and you ground it and bring it fully into your body. And so it's really up to you, you know, those affirmations. They need to be very unique and specific to your life, to your situation. For example, if you have had a difficult childhood, if you have not felt loved or treasured or made to feel important, praised, lifted up, elevated by your parents, perhaps they were good parents, but they didn't know how to do that. You have within you a sense of not really being lovable, not really feeling very important, not really feeling very significant in the world. You kind of feel a little bit like a disappearing wallflower. You don't really step forward and you, you discover, you remember through our work together, you, you begin to realize, wait a minute, I have a little child in here, inside me. This child, he, she is, is, is telling me, he, she doesn't feel important or valuable and this child within me is very unsure of him or herself. He, he just doesn't know how to bring him or herself forward. He, so you, you begin to realize this. And now you have to make specific affirmations, self-empowering statements. You have to start relating to this child and making sure that you, the adult, tell this child inside you, I'm here. I'm strong. I love you. You're amazing. I just want to tell you, well done for getting this far, for realizing what's wrong and feeling that pain and helping me become aware of it. I'm so grateful to you, my beautiful inner child. And I want to help you to change your mind. And so you start to relate specifically to your unique problems or places of lack, pain, fear, places where you got shut down. You start to address them very specifically. You know, sometimes when you're a child, you start singing and someone says, oh, be quiet. That sounds terrible. And you never sing again. But actually, you've got a fantastic voice. Everyone's got a voice. And you realize you've got to get that voice out from under that command to be quiet. That came from some powerful being that you allowed to have power over you. So you have to start bringing that command off your voice. You have to start freeing your voice and saying to your child, I love your voice, even whatever it sounds like. And you have to mean it. Because your child is afraid to sing and probably sound really squeaky and strange for a while. While he or she gets the courage up. And what there will be in there is also a lot of grief. Because a suppressed voice is very primal. It's right here. 
You know, this is a very important center, the I am center. I am going to sing. I am able to sing. Whatever it is, there can be so many subtle places where you got shut down in that way. Or you got forbidden to express yourself. One of the most important qualities and powers you have is your ability to express yourself, to just say what you feel. But if you're angry or if you're upset and nobody wants to hear about it and you're a, maybe a teenager by now and, you know, things have been going on and it's, it's getting pretty difficult and you, you, you really need to talk about it, but nobody seems to want to listen. And so that teenager starts getting more and more shut down and perhaps starts to use drugs to cope with all the feelings that are building up inside. Oh, so there's so many ways, beloved, that you need to free yourself and reprogram your mind with the new beliefs of believing in you, of really knowing your potential, having such faith that you can change everything in your life. You can bring in abundance, riches, wealth, prosperity. And you can bring in love. You can have a fantastic love affair relationship. That you can bring forward into your life your visions, your dreams. You can manifest your creativity. That you are here to be here, to appear on earth to be seen, to be heard, to be loved, to be embraced, to see, to hear, to love, to embrace, to feel, to touch, to know. To experience the fullness of your divine presence. To know that you are a co-creator with the divine. Healing your own being, beloved, is the most wonderful, deep inner work. As you embark upon it, you realize, oh, it's what I really needed. I really needed to feel these deep places within me. These places within me need my divine presence, my love. And it really is that simple, beloved. As you change your mind, you become fully present and you come back to yourself to focus your loving attention into healing these places that have become separated through fear, through lack of awareness and understanding through lack of love and through disconnection from your divine being. So some beautiful examples, beloved. Just relax. And inside or outside verbally, just repeat some of these powerful affirmations. And if you can, just learn them and do them a lot every day. Take a big breath. Open your heart, open all your chakras. I am the living spirit within. I am the wholeness of my divine essence incarnating into this body upon the earth. I breathe in the full power of my soul into this body. I breathe out all that is not me that I may have absorbed from my environment, or from others. And really feel yourself doing it. Visualize the light coming in the light, the golden light of your essence, of your divine essence. I 
I am the living presence of divine love pouring into every cell of my body, manifesting here upon the earth. Again, breathing, seeing that golden light coming right in, breathing it into your body and making a sound. Oh. You're able to do it. And you can do it quietly as well. Ooh, it's just as powerful. So if you're somewhere where people are being quiet or you can't make a lot of noise, you can still do sounding because it is the frequency of you sounding that makes that affirmation become more and more physically real. And the other really important one, beloved, is I give thanks for this body, this heart, and this mind. I give thanks for the oneness of my being, the divine source. I give thanks for this opportunity to manifest myself here upon the earth to bring forward my soul's full colors and power to manifestation this day. I am always safe. I am always protected. As I go forth in my life, I'm surrounded by my guides, angelic beings, and deities who walk with me on the inside in the world of light where we are one. Blessings and peace, beloved. Hi everyone, I hope you enjoyed that transmission from Chung Fu. I'm really excited to let you know that I'm doing a free webinar in a few weeks time where I'll talk about this work, this deep soul work with Ascended Master Chung Fu, with the angels, with the divine, with your higher self, most of all about how to bring your own connection with the spirits, how to really open up and bring your higher self in because that is the key, the divine connection, the love divine, to get connected and do the work inside, to clear away what's old and bring in the new. I really look forward to working with you in my free webinar in a few weeks time. Watch for the date. Blessings.